back home. It is good to be back. It is actually warm today. I mean, it's like 75 degrees outside. Right now, I'm actually gonna go out to look for some games. I haven't done this in a while. I'll spend my time with my son and the puppies today. I'm actually, also I need to go out and get gas. I mean, the needle in my truck is very, like barely hovering above empty. I'm surprised I don't hear the beep telling me. Like, it's like when I get low on fuel, it, it beeps and it tells me which it will probably do while I'm talking on this phone with a video here. But, now that I'm not extremely tired, I'm gonna give a synopsis of my trip. I um, had a pretty good time. Met a lot of people, a lot of really intelligent people from like basically all over the United States. And a lot of people had a lot of good ideas. The problem though is that there seems there needs to be a little bit more like unification in some of that stuff. Let me actually adjust my AC so it's not like being extremely loud so you can't hear me. But uh, something I actually did talk to him about us and uh, I said because there's there's some things that are going there that there are, people are using that are very similar to each other. And I even asked somebody, I said, am I watching a pissing contest between three different groups? And somebody was like, oh, kinda. <laughs> no, but it's not really, but, but the problem is, is that um, they've never really had any, they've never worked together on a lot of stuff. So a lot of people have like kind of doubling, they're, they're rebuilding, that, or they concurrently built the same thing. But everybody's really intelligent. That's, um, from what I they said, they said like, "Oh, you're probably the only one of the only developers there." And I'm like, "No, there are quite a few developers there." So yeah, it was really enjoyed that. Really enjoyed meeting a lot of people and talking to them. <laughs> um, the area in Sarasota, beautiful area. Hotels nice. Don't get me wrong; it's not like some like extremely high-end place but it's really nice I mean it's, I've stayed in better places and I've stayed in a lot of places worse um, but yeah I really enjoyed the hotel I enjoyed the area I loved walking down to the circle I think that's what they called it basically it's all where like where a lot of people went to eat and everything um, a lot of retirees are there I mean it was Florida so. but I think this is more like a retirement community place oh gosh you want to buy a house this might not be expensive depending on where you're at but where I live uh, like maybe a thousand square foot house might cost you a hundred thousand dollars there a thousand square foot house may cost depending on where it's at may cost you anywhere from three to five to six hundred thousand dollars <laughs> these are starter homes I really don't know how somebody can afford that if you're trying to start out. I mean, that's just so expensive. But, um, overall, really good experience. Really nice area. A lot of good places to eat. Uh, would I vacation there? I'm kind of weird. I don't, when I vacation, I don't like to go see things. Like, I don't want to go to the beach. Well, I I, oh, wait, I take it back. That's actually not true. Um, I would like to go s to see, like, Yosemite National Park or something like that. Or go see, um, like, um, yeah, parks, things like that. So that's, that's not entirely true when I say this. But, like, I don't, like, going to see Statue, the Statue of Liberty or the Eiffel Tower. I couldn't care less about that. That's just not the type of thing I like. But I, I like to go to events. Like, you know, I go to, I went to the San Diego Comic Con a few times. I like to go to Gen Con. Place like, I like to go to events. So actually going to just see something I find boring. But see, as I said, there's still camping though is a little different because you're actually doing something. Hopefully it kills okay. There's somebody that looks like he's riding a scooter and he's laying on the ground. 
but so that's my opinion on um, uh, places to go and stuff like that but I do enjoy um, like when a, like I would like like when we went to San Diego we went to the San Diego Zoo I really enjoyed that that's kind of a like I, I, I consider that kind of a place to go see that, I mean I but no, no, not place to go, but an event. Like, uh, but some people say, "No, it's not really. It's, you're just going to look at stuff." But that's animals and nature. I love nature and I love animals. Um. So, it's like, um, like Disney World. I don't. That, that's probably where we're going to go this year. I don't consider Disney World a something just gonna go see so that's either come like an event because we're probably gonna go during the Halloween event when, because that's close to my son's birthday so that's what we're that's what I want to do but yeah it's gonna be very interesting but anyway back to the Florida um, Delta I mean I can't I mean I understand Delta's kind of got dealt a bad hand here and everybody's mad at them but there's not really much they can do I mean, when you have, it's spring break, so all flights are full, and you had these storms. So people were in, in Atlanta, could, that, the people that were in Atlanta couldn't leave. And the people that were trying to get to Atlanta to other places, uh, when they got there, they got to Atlanta, they couldn't leave because the storms had moved on to, those other, to the other locations. So people just kept coming to Atlanta and never able to get out and it just it just it just kept snowballing and it got to the point to that I, I mean yesterday I think, I think I mentioned this in my vlog yesterday that the flight I was supposed to be on actually got canceled it even it, instead of the um they kept postponing like delaying delay 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 and then finally just went canceled because they actually had me um, leaving from uh, Sarasota and finally landing in um, uh, Atlanta but then they actually checked they canceled that the second flight out and it put me on a flight the next day and I'm like where am I going to to get a room in Atlanta there's no I mean from what I saying, there's no rooms in Atlanta available that means I just had to sleep at, at, at the airport if I had done that but then Worst case, that the, but what was even worse is if I would have went, they actually um, just canceled everything. So I could have been, so my flight was supposed to left at like six o'clock. So that means I'd have probably got there about four or five o'clock. And then they would just, but just kept canceling. They just kept delaying and delaying and eventually just canceled it. So I mean, that would just been torture. But anyways, I gotta get gas. I'll be back. Well, went out today. Did quite a few things. Um, it's actually good to be home. I mean, I'm really happy. I mean, I kind of miss the beach, but nothing compared to what I missed. I miss my dogs, my son, and my wife. I mean, it's just kind of crazy. It's kind of like I've I was gone for so long, you don't realize how much you'll miss something until it's gone. But, I thought I heard my dog barking. Maybe not. But anyways, I am going to be trying to go to the gym more. That's my new goal. It's not like, oh, New Year's resolution bull crap. Um, going to the beach, just because it's a retirement community, you see a lot of people and I saw people that had taken care of themselves and people who hadn't and just the difference in how they get around and I'm like I'd rather be that guy than that guy and we if people I mean pretty much medical science we have we can keep you alive for probably as long as your body can keep stay alive but you're like my PE professor 
or not really PE, but whatever. But it's the, I always call it a PE. He always like, no, it's this other thing. But um, he would say that it's your quality of life. And I could really see that. And I mean, some people that um, thought I something, saw something move. Um, The people, like some people that that you could hear them talk, and they're like, "Oh yeah, I'm going for my birthday. I'm 78 years old." One guy did, and I was like, "Wow, he looks like he's in his 50s or 60s. Um, he was pretty fit." Um, I understand some people are just naturally are going to be able to do that better. And other people that could barely get into the swimming pool, that could barely walk, and I'm like. And they didn't even they let they they looked really old, but I, you could tell that, that the wife they that was with them didn't look that old, and they had kids with them. And I'm like, this person looks like they're in their late sixties, maybe early seventies, and they have kids. And I'm like, maybe they're grandparents, but the kids are calling this guy dad, and they're like twelve years old. So that's what I, I don't want to be that guy. I, I want to be able to when Adrian is gets as he go, as he starts to grow up and get older and he can do more. I want to be able to do them with him. So tomorrow, eight o'clock, I'm going to be at the gym. Wednesday at eight o'clock, I'm going to be at the gym. And those two days are going to be a definite. My third, I, what I'm going to try to do is do three days working out, and since it's summertime. Other days, I'm going to at least do something. I don't know if I want to go for a run or if I want to exactly what I want to do because I do want to um, do something. Because like right now, I I've gotten lazy. That's the truth. I've I haven't gained weight, but I haven't lost lost any either. I mean, it's just it's not good. I need to actually get off my butt and that that seeing people like just the how hard it was for some people to get around and it's like that's the path that I'm on if I don't change what I do and like I understand like yeah I like if I change my diet and I do this and do that yeah it makes it eat it it'll be better but Changing the diet's gonna be very difficult because of just time constraints. I don't have time to cook the meals and stuff like that right now. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to work, get into the into a groove of this is what I do. Okay, I go to the gym these days, and then uh, once I get that, I can try to start going. Okay, well, we need to make a meal plan. I need to start, and like I can't do all that at one time. Because it's like, okay, well, let's say I make a meal plan. Well, but I gotta go to the gym. So what we can do is like, as I'm working on getting better at the gym, and my wife goes certain days, I'll go other days. We can work out a meal plan. I'm like, okay, this day we're gonna do this. This day we're gonna make this. This day we're gonna make this. That means we go to the grocery store on some whatever day we choose. We get everything. As it goes on, we'll be able to do. It, it will. It'll help us a lot more. And I want what I want is my hope is for Adrian to see, wow, my mom and dad are fit, they work out, so this is the way I want to do it. They want to he he'll see how hopefully me and my wife have a, will have be healthy and um not have any issues. So he'll see, hey, this is how I should do it, and he'll keep that up his life. Because um, right now, I understand like the whole, the whole obesity thing, and everybody is um, worried about all this. And I'm like, it really, to me, this is my hope. I'm going to try to be an example. Um, and because of that, I want, if I'm going to be an example of 
quote unquote, for better lack of a better word, how a man should be. I mean, I understand because that's not really a, a, the term, a really term I'm worth looking for, but or how to live a, a good life. I mean, really, kind of like I said, that's that's more apt to it, more the more proper term. But what I'm gonna try to do is, he'll see that I'm eating right and I'm exercising and I'm taking care of what I need to take care of. This is something I hope that when he, he'll see that throughout his life, he get, and that's something he'll be able to take into adulthood. And it's like, okay, I, can, I need to do this, I need to do this, I need to do this. And he'll be able to keep everything straight and do things. I mean, I understand it's like, this is what I think is correct, but I know, but I want him to have a good life, and I want him to live a long time. And really, the best one of the best ways to do it is to eat right, exercise, and those two things together will help you a great deal. But anyways, I'm gonna get off here. I just did my Persona Four unboxing. No, I just didn't get the steel case. I actually got the. Big giant <laughs> uh, special edition of it, and where I was stuck in Florida for so long, this has been here for over a week waiting on me. I've been wanting to play it so bad, and I can't play it tonight because it's too late. So tomorrow, me and Persona Five will get to know each other. Oh, and if you're wondering, like, oh, but these video games you're playing and everything within moderation, okay? You need to take care of. It's like there's a host. Um, there's the like the I don't know if it's true or not. There's somebody says they had a, a glass jar. Um, he, this guy, the professor, drops a bunch of tennis balls in it. He goes and they ask, is it full? Is the jar full? And the class goes, yes, there's nothing else going to fit in. The, the guy takes some takes gravel, a bunch of gravel, pours in it, shakes it, and lets it all settle down. He goes, all right, is it full now? And the class is like, yeah, you can't fit anything else in it. So the professor takes a big bunch of sand, pours in it, shakes it, and fills up a bunch of more sand into it. And it's full. I mean, like, nothing else will fit in it. And the professor says, now is it full? And the class is like, a, yeah, nothing else will fit in it. And then he pours a bunch of water into it. And he uses the analogy is with life. Take care of the big things and the small things will fall in place. And basically, yes, video games are a big part of my life. I do a lot of looking for them and playing them. And, but I take care of what I need to take care of first. Video games are my hobby. They're not my life. So that's another thing as leading by example is to show Adrian that, hey, when the dogs need something, or when he needs something, or when my wife needs something, like the bills, things like that, I take care of all that stuff before the video games. The video games, you can't be like, man, I really want to play this game. And then my son is running around looking at me like, Daddy, will you play with me? I don't want that to happen. I mean, um, I can't remember where I saw it. Somebody drew a picture, like they said, can't, like that is school. Said, so, hey, can you draw? It might have been in a movie. I saw this. Can you um, draw a picture of your family? And, and like the entire class is drawing pictures. And then one boy, he had the, he, he it was him, his little brother, or maybe his little sister, his mom, and his dad was in the other room, he had it, he had drawn his dad in another room, sitting in a chair watching TV. I don't want to be that. So that's another reason why I'm not putting video games ahead of anything. Now, that would it's something I would like to share with Adrian. I'd love it if, if he could, because right now he, he loves me to play Farm Simulator, and he'll, and he'll sit in my lap and everything. So that's what I want. I want him to share this hobby with me, I don't want it to overshadow him or I don't want it to take all the time away from him. I want it to be something that brings us together. But anyways, that's enough of me spouting off life philosophies and everything. 
I uh, hope you enjoyed my video. It's good to be home. Hope you guys had a good day. And yeah. talk to you tomorrow.